I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. All right, we're finally getting close to Horson Jr., but we need to go and meet up with Vernon Roke in order to get in contact with his with his contact in the Redenian Empire. Seems as though they have some contacts in common, and if we can get hold of this person, they might be able to reveal the location of Junior. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Come on. Paranoid much, Vernon? If he doesn't trust Geralt, then why is he working with him here? Seems like it'd be easy just to turn him out, you know? Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? No, still don't get it. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. 
They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. So, the uh, contact was Radovid himself, the king of Redania. And, well, men's a little bit of a paranoid lunatic, but not so paranoid. Well, maybe it's actually a sign of his paranoia that he doesn't want to have any middlemen between him and his assets. But anyway, he's not a nice fella. And the fact that he's willing to turn over Horace and Jr. for no reason other than the fact that the man's no longer useful since uh, apparently the whole gang situation in Novigrad has fallen apart. Not really to be trusted, but I guess, you know, turning him over to us sort of benefits him in some way, so this seems like a legit deal. But, well, now we know where to find Orson Jr. He's in Oxenford. What the sandwich fuck is this? 